Hi and welcome to this lesson. Today I'm going to explain to you how to measure and calculate the distance of a curved line. If you go click the link in the description section you'll see many of my other videos and in one of my previous videos I explained how to calculate the distance of a straight line so feel free to go see my other videos. Then what we need to um, pay attention to is the line scale. This is what we are going to use today and as you can see we have kilometers at the top and miles at the bottom so it doesn't really matter if you use kilometers or miles the method stays the same the answer will be slightly different so what do we do if we see a curved line like this and if you have no special equipment to measure this with what you are going to use is your test paper so you have the map you have a test paper and you are simply going to use your test paper like this so we will start at point A we'll make a mark and then we will go to this place over here so the, the line here is more or less straight so it's possible to measure the distance the way I'm doing it here and then we will simply move on from there there's another straight section make another mark and we'll do the same and this, this section here is not 100% straight, but that's okay as long as we go more or less along the line. And as you can see, the last section is also more or less, not really, but it, it's straight enough for us to be able to measure it. Right, so what you have now is a straight line. So we have point A over here, point B is where we finished, and then we simply hold it on the line scale and now we can read the distance as you can see I wouldn't say it's two and a half it's nearly two and a half let's say it's 2.4 kilometers so your answer is 2.4 kilometers now things get more complicated if your line is longer than the line scale at the bottom of the map and that is where you are going to improvise but I'll show you an example very quickly right so we have a bigger piece of paper and we are going to hold it just below this line here and as you can see we have B right there and it's, it's, we can't really measure it so what we will do is the following we will go up to three kilometers that's the maximum distance we can go so we will make another mark and then we know the distance from there to there is three kilometers and then we can go right from the start and now we can go we can start from zero and as you can see this is about one point let's say it's 1.6 so what you will do is you'll say three kilometers plus 1.6 kilometers and it will give you a total of 4.6 kilometers so this is what you do if your line scale isn't long enough so this is how simple it is thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe and see you next time goodbye